What up, guys? It's Jason coming at you with a deck profile. Yeah. Uh, the deck profile I got for you is the leaders. Delete your opponent's Vanguard. And That's win. the only. This is the only deck you play. You're gonna win everything with this deck. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Let's get it started. Uh, this is the starter. Uh, micro, micro hole, uh, Draco, Draco kid. I play this starter because uh, he looks better than the other one. The other one looks ugly as hell. <laughs> Not lying. Going to the triggers. Play four draw PGs. Two normal PGs. Two normal PGs. Two normal draws. I mean two normal draws. Men's are slacking. I know. And then I play six crit. And four heals. Mm -hmm. I play this ratio. Because uh, you need the draws for uh, a great two you'll see later in the, the profile. So far it's been working out, but I, I kind of want to bump the uh, the draws up to eight because uh, I don't draw enough in this deck. Bless. So easy solution, bro. Just uh, play two heals. Did you try eight crit before? Four draw? I tried eight crit. You just weren't it, doesn't, it doesn't work well. You need eight crit. Because uh, there's a, a certain grade three that uh, actually uh, shits on you. When uh, you get the actual combo off. Alright, going to grade ones. I experienced that combo, so I know. <laughs> pretty we got uh, four of this guy. Uh, his name is Ferment, uh, the leader, Gain. Uh, this is typically the guy you want to ride. Just because uh, he's kind of shit. He really negs you. Because uh, his uh, effect is uh, on attack. You um, At the end of battle, when you uh, attack Vanguard, you uh, sacra, you retire him, you discard a card, and then you draw one. So he's not that great. <laughs> Second grade one is probably the best grade one in your deck. You never want to ride this guy. Uh, his name is Opener of Dark Gates. So his effect is uh, when placed, if your opponent has uh, two or less rear guards, you soul blast one. You look at top two. And uh, you call up to one grade less than or equal to your opponent's vanguard. So oh. typically, uh, if your opponent goes first, they usually get to grade two. So you call this to rear, and then um, you you soul blast one. They they typically never call anything. You soul blast one, and then you just call another grade two, and you just literally rush them to death. True. And the last grade one is uh, your counter charger. Uh, it's kind of a shitty counter charger, but you have to play it because uh, the leaders is really counter blast heavy. Mm -hmm. So this is the the um, ill fate. It's not the same as the old one, but yeah. So its effect is uh, when your opponent's vanguard is deleted, you put this unit into soul. Uh, you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and bind it. And then if you have no face uh, face up damage, you uh, counter charge one. So it's not your greatest counter charger, but it's a counter charge. It's still that. counter charge. Better than royals. royals. Better than Royals. Royals, at least no we have one. Yeah, on to the grade twos. Those are all the grade ones. This is where it gets spicy. This is where the, your deck pretty much uh, runs, runs the whole game. Hell yeah. So uh, you play four of this guy. His name is uh, Swift the Leader, uh, the Leo. He's uh, probably your best grade two you want to ride because uh, so his effect is. Um, his first skill is uh, is a rearguard effect. When it's placed, if you have zero, if your opponent has zero rearguards, uh, it gets plus four. So it essentially becomes a 14k attacker. Mm -hmm. And then its second skill is vanguard or rearguard. It's uh, when it attacks hits, you can soul blast one, and uh, you can bind one of your opponent's rearguards uh, face down. But if you uh, you don't bind one, then you get to draw one. Mm -hmm. So typically, you you literally ride this grade two. They have nothing on board. You attack. Yeah. They typically let you draw, or they neg themselves a counter blast. So they neg one one card from hand. Yeah, barely so any decks free. call more than one grade two. Yeah, well, not so barely rather, but you know. It's 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 really not unlikely. That many people it's do, really yeah. unlikely. So this card's pretty much free. And usually they want the damage, so. Yeah, and then uh, I play the brothers. So these guys are like, if you guys know Murakumo, uh, mm -hmm. you have your left arrester and right arrester. These two are kind of the same thing. They both require each other on board for them to get uh, certain abilities. So. Um, one of their uh, one of them is the first one is uh, hailing the leader Alba, and the other one is uh, hailing the leader Elro. Uh, Alba is when uh, this uh, battles uh, attacks a vanguard. If you have Elro on board, or yeah, if you have Elro on board, then it gets 4k. And if it's on a force marker, so it's swinging for 24k, so it forces them a 15k guard pre uh, mm -hmm. pretty much. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is. Good numbers, right there. 
Uh, the other one is when it uh, attack hits and you have an uh, elbow on board, uh, you can counter blast one and uh, choose a rear guard uh, from your opponent's field and uh, bind it face down. Uh, the neat thing about these two is they, they both have graveyard effects. So if um, Elba is uh, placed uh, on board, Elra, uh, you can counter blast one and call Elra from the, gra from the drop zone. If uh, it's vice versa, so then if uh, Elra is on board, if you place them from hand, you can call um, Elra, Elba onto board from uh, the drop zone from soul blasting. So these two pretty much work well, and it's better than playing uh, 10k vanillas. And your last grade two is the boy himself, the one that pretty much wins you games. Uh, lie down the leader given. Uh, his effect is uh, at the end of battle that it attacks, if your opponent's vanguard is deleted, uh, you can put a total of six cards from hand and or field into the drop home and you can stand your vanguard and uh, the vanguard gets minus one drive check so this is typically your finisher mm -hmm. so when they're at five and you go into this you typically have the your other grade three which i'll show you in a second it, it gets a crit and you pretty much win the game mm -hmm. why three of not four i play three because four is kind of a brick mm -hmm. because if uh so you saw how uh, i only play six draws right? right so since you have to drop either three cards from hand and or field, so you need to drop six cards total. It's kind of a neg if you don't kill them, so you're gonna lose the next turn. So you have no hand advantage at that point. So uh, if you if you want to play four, then you definitely need to bump the uh, draws up to eight. But uh, I think I feel like three has been working pretty well. I usually see it, and um, at three, it, it's pretty much won me every single game, mm -hmm. or all the games at least uh, when I crit your opponent, when you crit. Those are the great twos. And the uh, last one, the spicy grade threes. The bling outs. <laughs> so uh, oh, this shine. is it's crazy. Uh, this grade three is from the uh, trial deck. Uh, it got a VDR from the uh, from the pack. Uh, its skill is um, it's an act uh, Vanguard counter blast two, and delete your opponent's Vanguard. A lot of people say it's really counter blast heavy. But I feel like it's actually pretty good because you never want to ride the other one first anyways. And counter, uh, for the cost of Counter Blast 2, it's actually pretty good because it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent because essential 5k guards, 10k guards become like 15ks and 20k guards. So this is pretty much your ideal first ride. Mm -hmm. If you ride the other guy first, you can just say bye bye to the game. You pretty much lose. <laughs> and your last grade 3 is the other boy. All the other baller cards. The man that gets the crit with, uh, the one that wins you uh, the game with Given. Uh, his name is uh, Waving the Leader, Grihol. Grihol? Gradle. Gradle, I don't even know how to say his name. Me too. Uh, so his uh, ability is, um, his continuous uh, Vanguard build is actually pretty good. Uh, when your, oppon uh, your opponent's rear guards cannot move to other rear guards. So you can't move them up and down, like you can't switch them. So they're, they're pretty much stuck. So uh, they pretty much lose interceptors and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, its uh, ride skill is, is auto, uh, one place, uh, counter blast, soul blast one. Choose your opponent's uh, rear guards and you can bind it face down. And if you uh, rode from a uh, road onto a grade three, then it gets a crit. Mm -hmm. And you delete your opponent's vanguard. Mm -hmm. So essentially, it's if you have a force marker under it, it's a 23k hitting with a crit with a... Uh, give it on board you essentially win the game because uh this is, it's a lot of pressure so you swing once uh you get triggers you just stack it all on this it could become anywhere from 33 to 43k base and then you swing uh given your opponent's still deleted so they're if, even this if they hit a trigger it's only 10. very hard guard you pretty right? much have to pg when you're yeah so turn. it's either a pg or you die mm -hmm. is literally what this uh what this this is mm -hmm. All right, Jason, any foreseeable changes to the deck? Uh, I'm most likely going to try to upgrade this and put it in more draws. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm still waiting for the next set to come to see what they give us. <laughs> and if anything, I hope it's pretty good support because right now the deck is kind of shit. In standard? Yeah, in standard. In standard, they're pretty garbage, but in uh, premium, they're actually pretty good. But uh, right now in standard, uh, they're not as strong. 
due to uh, the fact that you have to ride this guy right here. If you don't ride this guy, you pretty much lose the game. Mm -hmm. Whereas if uh, you ride him first and then uh, go into this guy, then you have a chance of winning. It's, game, yeah. it's pretty much fair game. It's pretty much uh, equal between the two, uh, two fields. What are your toughest matchups right now? Uh, toughest matchups is our protect. Protect shits mark. on this deck. Mm -hmm. Literally, they have a protect marker. You know, uh, you know, you can't hit them. So mm -hmm. even with the crit, you you see the protect marker, like OTT Angel Feathers. You can just say goodbye to that crit, because <laughs> it's not gonna do anything. So you, you have a better chance of just stacking the crits on your side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easiest matchups. Doesn't even help. Easiest. What do you think? Easiest matchups. No grapplers. <laughs> no grapplers. <laughs> Easiest matchup. No, no, no. In all seriousness, uh, I'd probably say Excel. Excel is Excel pretty e like Excel. Excel pretty much loses the force regardless. But against uh, the leaders, they lose even harder because they have a deleted Vanguard and mm -hmm. they typically never have hand unless they're playing like some crazy ass draw mount. Or uh, they have cards that naturally yeah, draw. They, they, yeah, they, uh, unless they have cards that naturally draw. But besides that, they they neg so much from uh, trying to protect their Vanguard because uh, you always just typically want to swing at Vanguard uh, with uh, against Excel because. Um, They'll, they'll typically use their great twos and stuff to, uh, to intercept them anyways, right? So you just keep swinging. So I feel like Excel is pretty much the easiest matchup for this deck. Other than that, it pretty much is equal or on par with Force Clans. It, it goes either way. And uh, against Protect, they just insta-lose. Word. So would you say that uh, Nova Grappler is an Excel deck that you can use? <laughs> <laughs> um, Nova Grappler is actually, Nova Grappler is actually an exception. Just oh, because wow. of all the the multi attack, this yeah. this deck doesn't have enough hand, mm -hmm. right? So uh, if it's a multi attacking clan like Aquas, yeah, yeah Novas, yeah, unless unless this really unless you hit a, a defensive trigger, you're either gonna die the next turn if you don't kill them, or you're just gonna uh, try to luck sack your way to win. True, true. Right, Anything you else like to you add? Chance to get some. No, I think I think that's it. Uh, the I hope you guys like this uh, this deck profile. Uh, you guys should play the leaders. Even though they suck, I actually really like them. <laughs> they're they're probably my favorite clan now. It's okay, man. That's how I feel about heroes. They just suck. Uh, suck. Uh, every time uh, I face people, I just say delete the vanguard. Hell yeah, man. Easy my game, favorite man, phrase. Bro. Easy, Easy game. game. All right, man. Any plugs? Uh, shout out to my team. Hey. Uh, team uh, T3 baddies. <laughs> Terminal 3 baddies, you know what it is. Shout out to Keith. Shout out to, uh, shout out to, shout out to dollies. Well, yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to dollies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my locals. Hell yeah. uh, the best locals in Toronto. Hell yeah. <laughs> the best you, uh, if you guys are ever in uh, Toronto, come by. Come by to dollies. They, they got the, the best staff. Make, make sure you ask for Stein. Make sure, make sure yeah, Stein. make sure you ask for Stein because he's the Stein. best employee. Only Stein. Just Only <laughs> Stein. Only Stein. He's the best employee. Everybody else is all right too, but uh, Stein is fire. <laughs> all right, so you know what it is. This is Team Three Baddies. We signing out. <laughs> Later.